Hello everybody. So we have performed the simulation here and we will do the post processing of your uh, your simulation results. Now we need to notice that uh, we have a ball and plate. We will run the animation and we can see that it is bouncing uh, very, very rigorously. Uh, this is because you are the model loss of elasticity value that we had given here. It was uh, roughly around 0.5 GPA. And uh, if you want some less uh, less rebound, we can reduce your elastic modulus value in your K file. You will notice that uh, this rebound is quite less. Uh, you can do it or try it by yourself. For as of now, I'll plot some basic results and you will go to your history. We can pick up a node anywhere. Let's result in displacement of any node. We can click on plot. You can see that it is increasing rapidly all right and after that we can pick up your velocity z velocity all right we can also plot it see the way it is moving initially it was negative and it became uh, positive and constant afterwards and we can visualize your uh, stress and strain component on your plate you can go to fringes you can go to strain here we can plot your any strain that we are looking for All right, similar for your uh, stresses as well. Like let's plot a one message stress. You can see that initially there are no stresses. It's completely zero. The moment you will run the animation one forward, you can see the stress value get developed in your plate. And it should be maximum at around your plate region, the impact region. You can see that at the impact region, it was quite reddish so it is having the highest value of uh, stress and we can also plot the stress value of your uh, plate uh, to plot your stress value you need to go to your history and uh, let's go to element here we had the stresses you can pick up a part let's select a maximum stress all right now click on plot now this is the value of your stress how it is varying in your uh, uh, plate this was this is at the time of impact it is peak and after that it will keep on uh, decreasing all right for your uh, ball it was rigid so it will not develop any sort of stresses we can also visualize your pressure here in your plate we can plot it it is uh, much similar to your stress condition we can also plot your uh, plastic strain for the plate it was uh, zero because we had selected an elastic material so it will not go into your plastic region as a result of your plastic strain is your uh, zero thank you so much guys if you want to post process anything if you are having any issue just please let me know in the comment section i will upload a video or i'll let you know in the comment section itself goodbye